Let's build great families. So many beautiful things come from being a husband and wife, father and mother. Join us and let's journey together. Good day, everybody. Good like, evening. Good morning, wherever good afternoon, you are. <laughs> wherever welcome, you are. <laughs> welcome to Family Watch Live. I'm Denise Price. And I am Paul. And we are your hosts for this evening in Family Watch Live. Welcome to Family Watch, where we bring you Catholic conversations. At Family Watch, we believe that the path to the renewal of society and the transformation of the church begins in and through the family by strengthening marriages, empowering parents, and bringing families closer to Christ. Amen. So tonight is our sixth episode, and the title is Raising Boys, Paano Nga ba? So last month, we talked about raising girls and our guests were from Guam, USA, and they had three girls. This evening, our guests have three boys naman. So I'll read yeah. a short introduction, my darling. Sure. Chiki and Lala met on a blind date on a Sunday night on February 1 of 2004. After seeing each other for 10 straight days, they became boyfriend and girl girlfriend. So whirlwind romance. <laughs> Pero in that same year, in October, they got married. Oh no, Chiki proposed to Lala live on a radio show of RMN, Weather at Home. And Chiki and Lala are blessed with three good-looking boys. And this coming December 17, Chiki, Lala, and their three boys will be celebrating their 17th wedding anniversary in their new brand spanking home in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Please welcome Chiki and Lala Reyes. Yeah, welcome to Family Ooh. Watch. Yeah. Lala. Yay. Good evening. Thank you very hello, much, hello, guys, hello. for welcoming us. For uh Thank accepting for our invitation. Thank you also. Thank you. Um uh, I'm we're excited. Lala is nervous and uh, uh, pasmadong pasmado na yung kamay. Mas malamig pa din sa aircon. But kidding uh, aside, thank you for that kind introduction, uh, Denise. And when you were saying it, talagang napangiti kami nung sabi namin, oh nga, no? December 17, nilipat na kami. So, salamat. Uh, God willing, we, we get to transfer exciting. to our small abode. Oh, yeah. exciting talaga yon. So, tonight, may, tayo, may three boys din tayo, di ba? So, uh, um, paano ba to? Yeah. Paano nga ba magpalaki ng lalaki? Yeah. One of the things kasi uh, I, I I was impressed with our guest tonight is kung kanito ko na rin sa kanya to kay Chiki eh, pa nung mga boys ko because we send our boys to the same school and then I see now and then and then napansin ko he has this like uh, very strange he has this bond with his children or with his boys. And I like I I kind of tried to emulate it but <laughs> hindi ko kaya eh. Parang it's all it's really unique na parang parang parang, parang ang galing na tatay nito. Since naisipan namin siya like like to be the guest tonight because he has definitely because with the work that he's doing also merong siyang connect with the boys talaga. Can you explain further, Chiki? Sige, um, siguro we'll, we'll do it this way. Um, unahin ko lang to si Lala bago dun sa napansin mo sa amin. Kasi magkaiba eh, yung style namin. Magkaiba and yet complementary. No? Um, my mom would always say that kids are always comfortable with the mommy kasi magiging very... Co- well, nine months mo kinaragay yan eh, di ba? Pag nag na heartbeat ng nanay. So, mama, why don't you tell them? Ikaw muna. Uh, ano yung... <laughs> ano yung... <laughs> Uh, relationship mo sa mga dinosaur natin. Tapos ako. O, sige, ikaw muna. Um, very different nga from Chiki, no? Uh, with the boys, they're, they, they're very comfortable with me. So, um, every time they ask for something, every time they they feel something, ako yung nilalapitan. Um, they look for me. 
kahit medjas, mama, where's where, where are my socks? Ganyan. Pagdating kay Chiki, it's it's more of playtime, more of bonding. Um, tsaka kaya nila, they can express themselves to me kahit in a in a not so good way yung yung kanilang mga whining and um, complaints all with me. So, then. <laughs> sa, sa akin, <clears throat> iba. Um, I don't force them to be my best friend. Um, kasi napapanood natin sa pelikula, best friend tayo, di ba? Hindi. Pag ginawa mong ganun, disgrasya ka agad. So, what I show them is yung pagiging mag-best friend ng daddy tsaka anak, process din yan. Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng pilitin kahit na anak mo yan. And what's my formula? Be yourself. But the thing is, si daddy, dapat gagawa ka ng extra effort to be, kumbaga, magnify mo lang yung sarili mo. Kung dati kang masiyahin, dapat mas masiyahin ka. Kung dati kang makwento, dapat mas makwento ka sa kanila. Kung ganito lang ang galaw mo, dapat dynamic ka pag nagkukwento ka sa kanila. Because, honestly, kids look at you as, as a giant, as a hero, no? That is, in the same way na ikaw ang batas. So, yeah. yung Paul, yung na, napansin mo, it's a short drive from Cubao to the school. But, the moment we step out, we start with a prayer sa kotse. Kaming ano, kaming, una, isa lang eh, si Ito, and then Jaime, and Pedro. Pagkatapos niyan, may game na kami. Yung game namin, uh, either para may kami na maghanap ng tricycle, motorcyclo, bisikleta, um, person wearing a yellow shirt, a red shirt. And whoever wins is, is um, may palakpak no, sa, sa dulo. Jaime, meron kaming spelling of the plate numbers or number. Si Pedro, meron kaming kantahan. But at the end of the trip to school, nandun na yung shake hands namin that we, that we invented. Um, Simple? Yes. Special? Definitely. Because uh, hanggang ngayon si Sito is not ashamed to do it with me kahit na 12 siya. In the mall, we can hold hands na hindi sila nahihiya. Lalaki yun ha. Sabi ko, pag ikaw, hindi mo yung hold hands. Where did you get the motivation naman? Like, like sa yung lakas ng loob mo like to do it, like to establish a relationship with your sons. Or even just the, the excitement of being a dad Even that, like yung hinatid mo sila sa school, parang like with all the other people who are listening to you, parang tinatanong nila parang paano magkaroon, magkaroon ng ganong type of attitude? Is it like really just your personality or you really have to work on it like to being re- like a deliberate father? Yeah. Ang ganda ng question mo, no? Dahil sila lang may ibang relationship sa parents. <laughs> ako, ako kasi... Yung tatay ko, um, he passed away 2010. He's By the way, military... and Father's Day. Sorry, hala. Nag... Sorry, again, sorry Paul, nakat ka doon. Sorry. By the way, uh, Father's Day ngayong Sunday. Oo nga eh. Kaya nga, Father's happy Father's Day sa atin. No? Tayong mga macho. Macho no rin. Di ba? <laughs> sa mga asawa natin. But yung dad ko, military man. So very reserved. Jim. Very quiet. Unlike me. But, Every time he'd bring me to school from Cubao to Katipunan, meron kaming tinatawag na unahan kami sa number of underpass, water tank, araw-araw yun. So I, I guess you'll start yun. No? Um, my dad was not very um, ano ba, demonstrative um, dahil nga military man. But, but in the absence of that, we had our own. No? We had our um, swimming, we had our kayak flying, We had our fishing, kahit wala kami nahuling isda sa Luneta. Um, it's his, I guess, to the dads out there, you simply have to do it. Ako, bonus lang, Denise and Paul, na extrovert siguro ako. Bonus, mm-hmm. no? But I guess, ang, ang pinaka, ano ko sa mga daddies out there, wala tayong choice, but we really have to exert the effort. Otherwise, ang formative years na mamiss natin, we will miss it forever. Mm-hmm. Yun lang akin. Mm-hmm. I think ano no uh, Chiki and Lala mm-hmm. one of the parang kwento ka lang sa mga audience meron kasi sila handshake eh. give me your hand na para pa, ta, 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 ganyan, ganyan, no? so parang silang dalawang mag-ama 
a uh, focus doon. So, so paghatid ni Chiki, para everybody can see them. Sila lang yung may ganun eh. Iba pa, bahay, ganun. Pasok na sa school. Pero sila lang. And, and I think, ang kagandahan nun is that it gives the child that sense of identity. That kind of like protection. Kasi kilala niya kung sino siya. He's so firm in his pagiging anak ni Chiki and Lala that tuloy. Ang ganda, ang ganda talaga nung um, kasi, gestures na yun. Kasi alam mo, um, Denise, dun sa ginawa namin yun. I'll, I'll share it with our viewers. Um, we're not really well off. Sakto lang. Saktong may pang tuition. Minsan late pa nga kami sa tuition sa Northfield. Alam nyo na yan. Nakikiusap talaga ako doon. But um, in spite of those shortcomings, kailangan mo maghanap talaga ng opportunity to celebrate the beauty of life. Eh. And ito yung mga ways of celebrating it na wala kang kailangang pera. Wala. Hindi ka gagastos. Hindi ka mag-iipon. Ang gagawin mo lang, mag-i-invest ka ng oras. Now, daddy, siya might say, baka... Palabas lang yan. Maniwala kayo, minsan ang hirap gawin. Struggle, di ba? Actually ako, I still try to keep up until now. Hindi ko pa rin magawa yung... Nagagalit sa akin yung boys kasi, Mama, that's not right. That's not how you do it. So hindi ko rin ma-memorize. Hindi ko magawa yung ginagawa nila. So talagang special activity nila yun. Pero Lara, that's okay, right? Kasi kumbaga, okay lang sa'yo yun na meron namang relationship, the kids and, and Chiki. Tapos meron ding specialness with you and the boys. Paano ba yung, yes. so halimbawa, Chiki and uh, the boys have that. Ano naman ang meron sa'yo? Ano, what do you do with them on a regular um, basis? On a regular day, I am with them 24 hours. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. We, we actually don't have helpers. So, I cook for them. I wake them up. Si Pedro is the youngest. I still bathe him. So, Talagang may natural bond kami. Hindi, hindi sila, hindi, hindi, in short, sorry, hindi kailangan lagyan ng effort yung nanay na mag-bond sa Correct. mga anak, kahit lalaki. Uh, naturally sila drawn sa akin. So sometimes he says, bakit ikaw lang hinahag niya? Bakit mm. ikaw lang ang tinatabihan? Or ikaw yung hinahanap? Minsan ayaw sa akin. Uh, but, but, you know, hindi niya alam, pag wala siya, hinahanap siya. Siya yung hinahanap. Humahaba so, naman yung hair ko pag hinahanap. Pag uh-huh. hinahanap. <laughs> Pero meron sila, for example, one nung summer, again, limited resources. Nag-bake sila ng cake. The kids were there. You know, yung making their own designs. Um, yung mga projects. Cookies. Cookies bala. Cookies yung mga projects sa school. No? Um, and, and I would say that Lala is the... Nag-homeschool kasi kami. So, ang tindi niya, siya ang teacher. Ang uh, galing nun, like... Uh, dis- disciplinary. Ang yeah, galing nun na, even with like the limited resources, you know, it did not stop you like from being like, being a father, who a father who provides. Parang providence... So, hindi lang pang mayaman yun. Yeah. Oh, like, ang pagiging tatay... Magandang relationship. Yeah, oh, parang... Alam mo, Paul, hindi, kung bakit? Kung ba't okay siya? Sorry, ah. Yes, bakit? In fact, baka nga blessing pa yung yung financially challenge. Eh. Kasi... Uh, doon makikita ng mga bata um, how resilient the family can be. Diba? Um, how you celebrate a simple hamburger that you will share with them, a simple cookie that you will divide. Or minsan, pag nakakabili ng medyo masarap-sarap, as may mom no, would say it, ah, kaya naman tayo ng masarap-sarap. Nakikita nila. You know? um, so for me, yung ganyang setback, blessing pa eh. Blessing pa. Dahil natuturuan mo sila kung paano maging mas ma, mas batibay. Galing. Uh, galing, galing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Parang, minsan kasi yung iniisip ng ibang tao, like, the providence wants to take uh, you as a father na providing for them. Parang iniisip nila is, um, lahat, Ang, oh, parang ikaw sa tatay, makikita mo lang na masaya yung pamilya mo if you're giving nice things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but don't get us wrong. Ha? Um, may mga usapan kami ng mga boys together with Lala. Nandun pa rin. I mean, real talk tayo. Mag- mm-hmm. Maganda ang may mga material na bagay. Di ba? Maganda ang makabiyahe, makapunta ng Amerika, dream yan, no? ng mga bata. 
But, kung hindi kaya, ang isang sabi namin, pag-ipunan natin. Diba? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kung hindi man tayo makapunta ng LA, di punta tayo ng LA sa Pilipinas, lower antipolo. Like <laughs> SPL by. Oo, oh, oh, LA guna. Pwede rin, di ba? But, <laughs> humor aside. Pero, akin, pag alam ko lang nakaklose ko yung tatay ko, parang wala na akong pakialam sa ibang bagay. Parang okay na ako sa tatay ko. Masaya naman kami. Nakikita ko yung tatay ko. Makwela naman. Or di ba parang, like, yeah, yeah, like being, being the father that you want, you wanted to be. <laughs> I'm getting very uh, wise. It's fun also. when I go to work. When I go. T- yes, yes, Jiggy. When when I go to work, when I go to work in the PBA and I and I wear my earpiece and I bring Sito along, Silano would say, "I want what you're doing." Sabi ko why? Because you seem happy doing. So, I go kay Lala. Alam mo? Siguro nga. No, bakakami maganda tayong nagagawa. Dahil ganon yung mindset niya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. speaking of your work, no, Chiki. So si Lala kat mga nanay, sanay kami na yun nga um close ang mga bata sa amin kaya siya lalaki ay kaya sa babae kasi nga uh, the mother, no, there's a nurturing care that's automatic that just comes out of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're just so great like that, right, Lala? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Agree 100%. <laughs> but but ikaw chiki no I asked you nga one time na para pag halimbawa nag-o-office ka no so nasa ganitong lugar nasa Legazpi Albay nasa Bohol how do you make yourself present kayong dalawa din ni Lala how do you make yourself present sa boys That's a very interesting question Denise Pag ang trabaho ko ay within car distance, subic, um, basta malapit lang, kasama sa kontrata ko, kasama sila. No? Nice. Sa, kasi may events follow na weekend. Eh. So I, I, I bring them. Tapos, um, I extend a night or two. Ah, talaga, kahit pagod si Papa, wala, kailangan natin gawin yan. Kung zooman yan or pasyal sa field. no Pero pag wala, pag biyahe or lipad, part of what I do when I touch down in the hotel, my kids wait for this eh, tour ng room. Gusto nila yan. Kailangan i-on ko yung video. Tour ng resort, pagkain. Kailangan kwentuhan ko sila kung uh, ano yung lugar. And then, when I call Lala to say good night na or what, bawat isa yan, when say good luck, uh, call us again tomorrow, show us a new place. So, Meron pa rin. Nagagawan pa rin ng paraan na na I get to share what I do. That, that's why they want to do what I'm doing right now. Which is a little bit scary. No? Kasi syempre gusto ko maghanap buhay muna sila. <laughs> <laughs> ang galing. No? So pwede pa lang i-include ang family sa trabaho mo kahit hindi importante yung technical na o oh, anak ganito yung score kasi nitong player na to <laughs> hindi yun aspect na yun kung baga the other things that the child and the wife can also understand no yeah yeah, yeah. ang ganda ng ganong so aspect. hindi hindi limited yung scope of like your presence with your children or with your mm-hmm. boys parang kahit hanggang ganun no nagbabiyahe siya pinapakita niya kung Nasa siya. Ang galing, ang galing. Yeah. Idol na kita. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> kapatid. Kapatid. Uh, minsan ako, pag nagbabiyahe ako, when I work, I just like show, send pic- pictures. But I, parang ngayon ko lang narinig yung na pwede ko palang ipakita video. Nandito ako, parang ganun. Nag- nagsuswimming ako. Hindi ko sa kami kahit eh. kasi are resorts eh. So like, I'm into this like resorts and hindi ko naisip yun. Magandang suggestion yun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Gumawa yeah, na kami ng Viber, uh, Viber group. Sorry, sorry. We, we made a Viber group so we can send videos and pictures, pictures there. Yeah. Tapos you'd be surprised itong si Jaime would always send us YouTube links na sobrang funny or informative, in, in, informative or very inspirational. What we notice about him is pag tungkol sa pamilya, sa parents, or may naaape, finish yan yan. Sabi na, nalulungkot ako pag napapanood ko ito. So, yung social media, maganda rin pala. Yung gadget, pag, pag, pag used na... Used in the right way. Used in the right way. Yeah, yeah. How do you deal? Like, speaking of social media with the boys, 
how do you manage or how do you deal or how do you talk to them about um, social media? Especially ngayon, like for the last two years, nasa harap ng screen yung mga anak natin. Mm. Diba? So how, how did you deal with it? Actually, or how are you dealing with it now? Medyo, um, I'm guilty you know, of making them or of letting them. Uh, aren't we all? <laughs> I mean, because first, there's nothing to do in the house. They're, they're cooped up in the house. Um, our backyard is really small for them to play in. So medyo, loob lang sila ng bahay. Especially no first part ng pandemic, ng lockdown. We were all scared even just to go out of the of the garage. Doon lang. Ayaw, ayaw namin. So, we had, no, we had no choice. No una, they were playing with each other, sila ang tatlo. And then we found out that there were groups of yung boys na from the same school mm. um, na nag-form sila and then they started playing with each other. They started chatting, talking. So, medyo nakampante kami. We were, we were, we felt safe because we knew that they were talking to boys that we know Lala. from school. Yeah. yeah. And I guess it was parang healthy for them because they were able to interact pa rin with other boys mm-hmm. their age. Yeah. Hindi lang kami. Hindi lang yung nasa bahay. Not just with their brothers. So, yeah. but I think kailangan pa rin merong limit. Pero medyo we're trying to deal with that now because balik na rin naman tayo sa face-to-face with this is school a little by little. Um, so we're trying to limit them now uh, little by little also by putting time limits and uh, giving them more chores in the house to do kasi nakakalabas na naman sila. Ako, what I did with them is una, nilagay namin yung PlayStation sa lugar na when they play, we hear everything. Diba? Yeah. Crucial yun eh. Na you hear how they talk, who they speak with. Um, and pag may narinig kang good thing, wala naman nagbabad words sa mga anak na. I mean, thank God. Pero kung minsan nakakalusot ng parang sounds like, what did you say? Sabi na, <laughs> oh, ibang word pala yung sinabi. So, but they're conscious. Pangalawa, I always tell them yung saying natin, think before you click. Think before you open your mouth. If it's something that you will not like when it's said to you or something that you don't like when it's sent to you, then don't do it. Sabi ko, anak, ang social media, powerful and bad also. Because once you get hit by it, it will be there forever. You know? Sabi ko, pero kung wala kang ginagawang masama, even if people talk crap about you, don't mind it. At the end of the day, if sa friends mo, sa family mo, the people that matter, eh, okay ka at wala kang ginamang mali, Diyan mo yung mga haters. Magkakaroon yan eh. Sabi ko sa kanya, magkakaroon yan. And, and I'm just preparing them for that. And thank God, it's working. Pero to the parents listening out there, it's going to be a forever child and error. Lalo na sa mga ka-age natin. ba diba? ah, Tuturuan mo eh. Minsan mali yung style. Hayaan mo lang. E di ba we? Parang basketball lang yan, di ba? Hindi ka nakashoot ng una. Then play defense. Try yeah. to score again. It's a composite kasi of everything. Minsan kasi mag, nag, may magtatanong sa akin ng ganyan, it's a composite of that, that in, your entire relationship with your boys. It does not mm. like comprise of steps of doing it. Mm. Uh, kinakausap mo sila about gadgets or social media consumption. Lalo na ako ngayon, our, teen, our boys are all teenagers. So medyo slightly <laughs> challenging. No? Slightly challenging pag kinakausap ko na sila on um, social media consumption or even just the consumption of internet alam naman natin lahat like, everybody knows like almost like 80 to 90% of the consumption of the internet is bad it's bad yeah. <laughs> it is. Just go there it's bad so, so it can be it like, mitigated oh. with um, the relationship that you are putting the time that you are doing it the time that you are giving them the presence that you are there, your presence within your boys. Like, yun nga, parang it's, it's holistic ang approach eh. And then plus, ang una kasing idol ng mga boys is yung nanay nila eh. Tinitingnan din nila yung oh, yeah. relationship mo with your spouse. <laughs> Dahil yun yung gagayahin nila eh. How they will treat other women also. That's if they see how you treat your 
spouse. Kaya most of the time, ganun din ako under the saya. <laughs> <laughs> Live to sa international. That's not true po, no? Hindi, natutuwa. Natut- natutuwa sila eh. Natutuwa sila when, for example, when, when, we have, when we have date nights, ano, our date nights are limited to the house eh. But, mamamalengke ako limbawa sa farmers, no? Uh, kuha ko ng konting uh, salmon dyan or konting tuna na magde-date kami. Nung una, yung isang tray na yon okay na sa amin dalawa. Kalaunan, aba, ikonti na lang nakakain namin dahil pati yung tatlo <laughs> kasama na namin. But yeah, yeah. It, it's fun because when they see it, they know two things. One, they can sleep late. And, and second, they know that there's lots of things sa pwedeng pagsaluhan na, na kami-kami kumakain. So, tama ka po, eh. and, and Denise, no, hindi you really have to set time hindi lang sa sa mga bagay na dinumero na pwedeng gawin even din sa mga most spontaneous stuff yeah, if if yeah. you just a lot time busy as you may be yeah. write down small notes text message of 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 affection i do that eh i just got a, a message earlier nung work ko hi papa if you're not busy can i call you i just want to say hello ah si hi me Paano kami yeah. video? So again, an- anong tinanong niya? Can you show me a video for your workplace again? So ayan, na naman ako. <laughs> ganun, ganun. So. <laughs> galing, galing. So Chiki and Lala, no, last month, ang pinag-uusapan namin was uh, how to raise girls. So, and the the three main um parang lumabas doon was that girls need a lot of chika, a lot of conversation, <laughs> and then you have to journey with them. Pero ang nakikita ko sa inyo, Um, the boys also need conversation. Tama ba? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. You, you'd be surprised. Um, like, um, they're all very talkative. Mana kay Chiki lahat. So, um, <laughs> dinner time? Dinner time, ha? They're, they're together the whole day or dinner, lunch, whatever meal. You know, they non-stop talking yan. parang hindi sila nagkita for a long time because they would talk about anything and everything under the sun. Also, they like talking to us. They like conversing. Like me, when I'm washing the dishes, one of them um, would stay with me. Just stay there, talk to me about whatever anything comes Anything under up. the sun. Yeah. And then until I finish... Oh, and then he'd, uh, they'd, one, they'd ask me, oh, is there anything I can do for you? Sometimes kasi I like doing it all by myself because I feel like I, I can clean the dishes better than faster. Hindi siya nagtitiwala sa cleaning prowess namin. And faster, yes. So, uh, yun, I, I just let them. Minsan, sometimes, because I want to finish faster na, Sama nga, I, I, my fault. But sometimes I don't understand na what they're saying kasi ang dami. So sobrang dami, so sobrang daming kwento. And then they say, do you still understand what I'm saying, mama? Yeah. And that's it's, okay, it's, di ba, Lala? Yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. That's okay. And they're okay with that. that also. Time spent na, ang ganda nun kasi little boys pala can serve their moms, no? Um, not necessarily through chores or through mm-hmm. particular mopping the floor, do this, no? Pero to help you and to speak with you, that's nice. Nakakamiss yung age yes. na yun na, yeah. ano, <laughs> na little kids pa talaga. Ang ganda. Yeah. Al- alam yeah. mo, if, if I may share, um, Paul and Denise, this yeah, is this song um, na yun yung lyrics ha? It's called Cats in the Cradle. Ah, alam ni Paul yan, yung kantang yan. Kung saan, sinasabi nung son na yung tatay ko, gusto ko lapitan dati in, uh, no, no, in summer. Gusto ko lapitan dati. Busy siya, busy siya, busy siya. Idol ko yung tatay ko, busy siya. Hanggang ng dulo, naging ako yung tatay ko. Yun yung message ng song. So, ako to the dads out there, to the moms out there, alam, mahirap talaga, no? If you're in the middle of work, you have a deadline. You, you, um, you're tired. I fall into the trap. She falls into the trap. That sometimes when they want to talk, pagod ka na, bukas na, bukas na. Okay pa, okay. Minsan maganda yon. pero isipin din natin, pag lumampas yung kahit, mali mo may gusto siyang sabihin na 
importante. So, kung kaya natin, what's what's one minute? What's 30 seconds? What's five minutes? Sige, habaan na natin. Ha? Subukan natin i-grab. Lalo na yung mga papasok ng adolescence, yung mga magti-teenager na. Boys, ha? Dahil natin tinamaan ng pandemya, kailangan natin i-grab talaga. Kailangan natin pakinggan. Kahit na hindi natin naiintindihan. You know? <laughs> Totoo. Take down mental notes, research it, and then go back to them and say, Hey! I know what you were talking about. Ito pala yun. Yeah. And then you know what? You will see that natural glow in their faces that you know what yeah. I was telling you. And believe me, dads, pag gumano yun, yung mga malumbot ang puso dyan tulad ko, maiiyak kayo. Mm-hmm. Pag narinig ninyo na sinabi ng anak mong, ah, alam mo yung kinakwento ko, magkakalamp kayo sa throat and say, ayos. <laughs> And yun, parang victory kay Papa yun. That's a point for yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Galing. 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 This is being, yeah, yeah, being, being there, yeah. being present. You've already, you're already providing and you're already protecting your family. Naiyak ka na rin. And, no? and, and yeah. faith, ha? Hindi na pa ako umiyak. Hindi ko lang pinapahalata. Ayoko tanggalin sa equation yung faith, ha? Kasi may, may nabasa ako and even my mom told me. If ang nanay madala, madasalin talaga yan. Pero ang tatay, pag nakita ng mga anak na yung tatay taimtim sa pagdarasal at sa pagsusori sa mga mali niya, whether to the, the big guy up there, and they see it, chances are they'll emulate you. Yeah. So uh, uh, show, show them how, how vulnerable we are in prayer. And believe me, Meron, meron at meron makukuha sila doon. Galing. Yeah, so galing. it's not really, no, parang ang, ang learnings ko from this episode and from last, it's not any particular thing that the boys need or the girls need, pero it's actually just our time. Yun yes. lang talaga. Time yeah, lang yeah. talaga. That's the bottom line of the conversation, the journey. Yes. It's just time. It's so simple, no? Mm. And and you know, you see this. And then this, I think that's what the pandemic gave us. It yeah. gave us enough time also, to be, yeah. to be with each other's yeah. throat. No, I'm going to find you. Um, find time to do things. Find time to do things. Talaga weird things. Um, the yung playlist sa mga anak namin magkakahalong 70s, 80s, and 90s. Did you know that? Alam mm. nila yung alam nila yung, uh, yung Rick, sa Beatles, Astley. Rick Astley. Nag, nagpunta kami yung Clark. <laughs> nagpunta kami yung Clark. May kumakantang banda. Yung 10 years old na nag-request sa banda ng Never Gonna Give You Up yung kay Rick Astley. Ayaw maniwala ng singer. But why? We sing that in the car with them. Blackbird. Blackbird, uh, Blackbird of Beatles. We sing that with them. Uh, yeah. Apo, we sing that with them. Yeah. And in the same breath na Ed Sheeran, we sing with them. Pag sila na naman, no. Updated ka. <laughs> medyo lang, medyo lang. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko alam paano spellingin yun eh. <laughs> uh, Ed na lang, Ed, Ed na lang. <laughs> like, okay, last, last words, like, uh, like advice for us dads and moms, especially if they are like wanting to have a lasting relationship or deep relationship with their boys. Um, maybe I'll start. Uh, Short lang. I think we just really have to all give our time and love and understanding. That's it. Very simple. You don't even have to, to exert effort because they're your kids. So natural yun, that we love them. And that, you know, yung time lang siguro yung effort and listening. Kasi minsan, we fall into the trap of, you know, like what Chiki said earlier, tired na, ganyan. So, extra effort in listen to them. Yeah. Yeah. Ako, um, siguro to the parents out there, uh, think of it as a game. Diba? Ang game may start and end. Eh. And the coaches would always say, if you, if you screw up in the, mid, in the start of the game, bawi ka lang, diba? But also take note, na hindi naman pe pwede first, second, third, quarter, eh, eh puro na lang po screw up or pagkukulang sa mga anak natin. Kasi pagdating ng fourth quarter, paano kung doon natin i-decide to change on how we bring them up? Pero malaki na yung lamang nung kalaban. Paano mo masisave yun, di ba? So, 
kayo makakaalam eh kung nasan na kayo, how deep you are in the game. But even if it's already deep in the game, hanggat buhay ang pamilya, meron kang chance to tweak it. So una, sasabihin ko, huwag na natin intayin lumaki yung lamang. Habang kaya pang i-correct, correct na natin. Which leads me to my second point. Hindi ho kami perfecto. We're not perfect parents. I would call ourselves the perfectly imperfect parents. Because we we see that in our faults, in our shortcomings, we get to teach them. I will always tell our kids, we'll always tell our kids, pag parents sa kayo, gayahin nyo yung magandang ginagawa ni mama and papa. Huwag nyo gayahin yung hindi namin magandang ginagawa. Diba? Yun lang naman yun eh. In the same breath, uh, yung maganda ginagawa ng magulang ko, sinunod ko. Yung hindi masyado, tinuwik ko. Diba? And then lastly, lastly, prayer. Um, yeah. Baduyas, it may sound sa iba. I might be even preaching to the choir here. No? Yung mga nanonood, baka sanay na mag prayer dito. Pero kung may mga kaibigan kayo, ano, diba, hindi naman nakakawala ng pagiging macho yun, no? daddies. No? Yeah. Um, but show your kids your vulnerability in prayer. Because if they see that you are vulnerable to a being that you do not see, ikaw na macho, na malakas, kayang umiyak sa Diyos. Aba, sabi na, hanip tong tatay ko. Hanip tong nanay ko, astig ko. So, yun lang po. Hindi perfecto, hindi madali. Pero hanggat humihinga tayo, go lang ng go. Ang galing. Ang Thank you so much, Chiki and Lala, for your sharing Thank of you. your wisdom tonight. Talagang um, yeah. we have been blessed. We have learned so much. Kahit we have been married more longer, we are, our boys are bigger, but still the, the learnings yeah, that yeah, they yeah. provided still apply. And, and that's so uh, beautiful. The, you can see like the passion of like, it's really sincere. You can really see Chiki's passion. Yeah, gusto ko talaga gawin to. Yeah, yeah. And maganda yung part. Last pala, doon sa mga sa parents, sa parents, huwag kayo magtataka. Sa mga 12, 10, and 8, tandaan nyo, pag ganyan yung mga boys nyo, ganyang age na, they, they suddenly turn into bats, mga paniki. Nagiging paniki yung mga yan. Alam mo kung bakit? Bakit? Pag inutusan mo kasi, sabi nila, <laughs> bata ko. Bata ko. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Enjoy lang ako. Okay na eh. Okay na yung... Okay na eh. Nasingit pa yung joke ha. Very good. Batman. So thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. For thank you. Thank you. Family thank you. Watch Live. Okay, Lala ha. Survive. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much everybody. We'll see you in July for the seventh episode of Family Watch Live. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Let's build great families. So many beautiful things come from being a husband and wife, father and mother. Join us and let's journey together.